The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2000. This is Big Polly coming to you this Saturday, the 5th of March, 2022. Uh, Major League Baseball and the players no closer to a deal as they were last week, so we will play out some HTBL. From now on, uh, I knew I'd do a, I did a game Monday, uh, but from now on we're going to do games Saturday only, and I play these uh, play the season out day by day off camera. So right now... Uh, the best team is Cleveland at 15 and 6. The worst team, San Diego at 6 and 15. Barry Larkin, 60 points ahead of Justin Mor Morneau of Minnesota for the batting lead. Vaughn Williams and Hartnett have seven home runs. Evans, 23, runs batted in for the Bow Sox. Ted Williams leading at OPS right now at 1.170. Frank Viola. Has pitched well for the Twins. He's 3-1 and one with a 1 ERA. Clarkson with 5 wins, leading at the moment for the Cubs, who are a combination of the Cubs and the White Sox. Then, 7, stay, seven saves for San Francisco, who are a combination of the Giants and the Oakland A's. Cy Young leading Bob Feller, 49 strikeouts to 48. So we'll set up our game, and today we're going to play the Major Leaguer Castaways, Major League Castaways against Minnesota, Major League 14-7, and seven, leading the West Division by one game, Minnesota, only one behind St. Louis and Chicago for the Midwest League. The West and the Midwest Divisions play in the Pacific League, and at the end of the season... The teams with the uh, who win the division get to the playoffs, along with the next best two teams in each league, and we'll have a best of seven series all the way to the World Series, I guess you could call it, uh, which we the hometown series. I'm going to make that change right now. We're going to call this the hometown series, and we'll have extensive coverage when we get to the playoffs. But right now. It's the Major Leaguers in Minnesota, Target Field. This will be a night game. I will play as Minnesota. The computer will play as Major League Base, the Major League Castaways. I'm going to take a sip of green tea here. Still having a little bit of dental trouble. Thought I had licked it last night, but when I woke up this morning, I didn't get a gun, but I still have the dental issue. So Sucking on a lot of ice when I'm not talking. And I have some green tea when I do talk. So uh, we'll set both teams up. That's the way I do it. So everybody gets a chance to play. Waddy Clark will be the starter for the major leaguers. So I do this little dance and set up both teams. So Minnesota has to, it's going to be Jim Cott, Kitty Cott, is going to be the pitcher for Minnesota. And... There's the lineup for the castaways, so we have to hear that little boo boo a couple more times, and off we go. Target Field in Minnesota. It is. On the timeline, it's August 23rd. No, not August 23rd, but April 23rd. If it was August, they would have played a lot more games. And we will set up the preferences, so the computer manages the castaways. Kind of like in the HTFL where I have the Vegas Ironmen. And they're not a bad club either, so... It's going to be Waddy Clark and Jimmy Cott. Play ball. Here's your lineup for the MLBers. O'Neal, left field, Tip O'Neal. He's hitting 226. Randolph at second base is the second baseman. Appropriately, Artlet 
In right field will bat third. Joyce, the third baseman, will bat fourth. Travis Jackson, the shortstop, bats fifth. Jorge Posada wasn't picked by the New Yorkers, so they will. he will bat sixth for the castaways. Scourin at first base, bat seventh. Ellsbury uh, hits eighth, and Clark will be the pitcher in the HTBL. We use the pitchers to hit, which is the way the game started. We play things the traditional way. And before we get to the advantage of Tip O'Neill, Marty Kodova will set up the Twins defense at 8 and a 5 and left. Cesar Tovar, he, could, he once played nine positions in a game, so he's rated practically everywhere but first. But I imagine you could really use him at first base if you really wanted to. He is a 5 and a 5 at center field. Tom Brunanski is 6 and an 8 in right. Gaetti, an 8 at third base. Rousseau's is a 9 at short. Knobloch, a 4. I make that a 5 at second base. I was reading the shortstop number. Herbeck is a 5 at first. Earl Batty, an 8 and a 9 at catcher. Cott is a 10 with a fielding average of 895. So you've met everybody. Let's play some baseball. O'Neill leading off, hitting 226, a homer and a ribby. Sky to center. Tovar will make it. One out. Randolph now up. 457 on the year. No homers, but eight RBIs. Overachieving. Grounded a third. Gaetti. Herbeck for the second out of the MLBers first. Artlet now up. He This will be his first uh, action in the season. He has no uh, at bats. Grounder to Fersals. He throws to Herbeck. One, two, three inning for Minnesota. We've played a half. No score. Your lineup for Minnesota. Knobloch is at second base. He leads off. Tovar is the center fielder batting second. Herbeck at first batting third. Cordova in left batting fourth. Batty. The catcher hitting fifth. Bernanski in right field batting sixth. Gaetti at third batting seventh. Versalves, the shortstop, batting eighth. And Jim Cott is your pitcher batting ninth. And I forgot to profile him a little bit. We'll get to that in the second inning. O'Neill, as we look at the castaways defense, a five and a three in left. Ellsbury an eight and a four in center. Artlet, the strongest arm of the outfielders, a five and a nine at third. Joyce, a four at third base. Jackson, a nine at shortstop. Randolph, a seven at second. Scourin, a six at first. Behind the plate, Posada, a six and a four arm. And Waddy Clark is an eight. Uh, actually, he is a five defensively. His hold is an eight. He will be your pitcher, and his FA is 892. So, Waddy Clark coming in, 358 ERA. 2-2 two and two on the season, 7 walks and 17 Ks. Knobloch leading off, 129 on the year. No homers, but 2 RBIs. Hit well to left. O'Neill with the put out, one gone. Tovar now up. This is his first at bat, potentially. Uh, but these castaways have him scouted. He is a good bunter at a nine. I'm not intending the bunt here. Grounder to short. Jackson, Scourin, two outs. Kent Herbeck up, 222 on the year, one homer, one ribby. Grounder to first base, Scourin will take it to the bag, side retired. We have played an inning, and we've had one, two, three innings so far, no score. Joyce, your new hitter, he is only four for 41 on the year, one homer, five RBIs. And Cott will deal to Joyce. And then we'll talk about Cott a little bit. Hit well, but right to Tovar. One out. 
Caught on the year, 455. He's 1 and 3, 13 walks, 12 Ks. His whip a little above what it should be, 1.295, but his opposing batting average is 230. It should be 236. Travis Jackson, 229, two homers, seven RBIs. That's grounded foul. He was looking to bunt there. He is a good bunter, a seven. And with a count 0 oh and 2, I'll just keep the infield normal. Base hit, poor play by, looked like Tovar, but they will rule it a hit, not an error. Could have been Versailles that made the poor play, I don't know. Posada now up 333 on the air. He's 6 for 18, two homers, five RBI, so he does provide a little bit of punch. Knobloch. Versailles, Herbeck, a 4 6 3 double play. And we're out of inning number two for the major league. I can get up for a moment. Hang on. We have no score. Minnesota batting in the second. Waddy Clark, the left hander. We profiled him in inning number one. I remember to do that for Clark. Cordova. 216, a homer, but he's an RBI producer, 11 ribbies. K number one for Clark. That gets him up to 18 on the year. This is both teams. Let's see. 22nd game. So this is probably the fifth time around the rotation for everybody. Earl Batty, 395, a homer and seven ribbies. Sky to left. O'Neill had to chase it a little bit, but he makes the put out for the second out. Brunanski now up. 200 on the year. No homers and a ribby. Sky to right. Hartlett will make the grab. We've played two. No score. Here at Target Field in Minneapolis. Scourin now up for the Castaways. 320 on the year, four homers and 13 RBIs. And Tovar chasing that one, but he makes the play just about the warning track, and he has been injured. Will remain in the game, but will play at reduced, reduced effectiveness. Ellsbury, 241, a homer and six ribbies. And that was a base hit to left center. So Jim Cott will now piss, pit, pitch to Wally Clark. <laughs> Clark on the year, 111, one for nine, and a ribby. That's K number one for Clark, I mean for Cott. <laughs> Tip O'Neill back up, 0 for one on the day. Base hit up the middle, and Ellsbury will advance the third on it. Randolph is 0 for 1. Chance to drive in a run with two outs. Knoblock over to Herbeck. Side retired. We've played two and a half. No score. Bottom of the third for the Twins, who have yet to get a hit in the game. Gaetti, Versailles, and the pitcher Cott will be up at the bare minimum. Gaetti, 120 on the year. That's a base hit up the middle. Poor play by Travis Jackson. Versailles, 220. A homer and two ribbies. I did not give the rest of Gaetti's stats. He had no homer and three RBIs before that base hit, and he still does. Clark will pitch to Versailles. Scouring unassisted to the bag, one out. I did not mention the expected pitch count for each pitcher. Clark could go 140 and has pitched 26. He's had a good, solid first three innings. Cott, 36. 
Actually, Clark is pitching his third inning now. Of course, I forget that. Uh, Cott has worked three innings. He's on 36 pitches. And the Castaways playing the bunt, and I'm not going to disappoint them. Scourin over to Randolph, who is covering first base. And that moves G, uh, Gaetti to third. So Chuck Knobloch, with two outs, has an RBI chance. Three hits for the Castaways, one for the Twins. Up the middle, Jackson's going to get to it. Yes! Throw to Scourin in time. So we have played three, no score. Buzz Artlett up for the Castaways in the fourth. After him, Joyce and Jackson. Artlett is 0 for 1. Hit very well to center, but Tovar will get to it. One out. Very spacious target field. Although, looking at the stats, it does favor the power hitters a little bit. Especially lefties. The right-handed hitters struggle at target. Joyce is 0 for 1. Pitch from Cott. That's going to be a base hit to right. Vernansky picking that up. Jackson is 1 for 1 on the day. Trying to get that batting average up. And that's a base hit. Poor play by Versailles. So now... The Castaways have something going here in the fourth. That's their fifth hit as a team. Posada is 0 for 1. See what Cott can do here. One out, so play for the double play. Grounder to Gaetti. He throws the knob lock over to first, the 5 4 3 double play. Good defense out of the Twins being exhibited here. We have now played three and a half, no score. Cesar Tovar, 0 for 1 in the game and for the season. Grounder to Jackson, who charges, throws the first in time. One out. Kent Herbeck back up now, 0 for 1. Clark is at 38 pitches. Cod is now at 52. Yeah, that's a base hit. Not a base hit. That's a grounder to the first baseman, Scourin. I thought for a minute it might have been a base hit. He goes to the bag unassisted. Two out in the Twins' fourth. Cordova up, 0 for 1. Joyce with that ground ball. It's 5-3 on that put out. We have played four. Still no score here at Target Field. The major leaguers at bat in the fifth, no score. Scourin on the day is 0 for 1. That's K number 2 for Cott, who now has more Ks than walks. Jacoby Ellsbury is 1 for 1. And Knobloch charges, throws to Herbeck, second out. Waddy Clark, the pitcher now up, he is 0 for 1. I don't think. Uh, with Clark being so effective, he's only at 48 pitches that he will stay in, and he does. And that's K number two of the inning and three for the game for Cott. We have now played four and a half. We're halfway home, provided we don't go extras. No score. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. Back with you for the bottom of the fifth. No score between the major leaguers and Minnesota. Castaways are kind of the rejects. And rejects is probably a pretty strong term of the players that the other 27 teams did not want. Forming their 100-man teams. Earl Batty 
steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And Jackson with a fine play throws the scour and gets the out. So one out in the Minnesota fifth. That brings Bernanski back up. 0 for 1 on the day. To Joyce, throws to Scour and two outs, just that quick. Clark has only surrendered one hit in the game. To this point, he is at 53 pitches. The way he's pitching, he looks strong, he could probably go nine. Gaetti, 154, one for one. And Joyce, getting a lot of work in this bottom of the fifth, he threw to Scour and got the out. After five, no score. Tip O'Neill up. No, not the uh, Speaker of the House in the era of uh, President Reagan. One for two on the day. And caught the livers. And that's going to be... There you go, a foul ball. O'Neill should be hitting 321. But he's way behind. Uh, he's only 242 on the season to this particular at bat. And that's sharply hit the right, goes all the way to the wall. And O'Neill, will he make it all the way around? He does it inside the park home run, which we see a bit frequently in the HTBL than we would normally see during the course of a major league season of recent times. So Tip O'Neill, if it was football, I would call it a house call, but he goes all the way home, and it's one nothing castaways. Randolph is 0 for 2. Popped it up. We got a whole bunch of players converging, and looked like Bernanski. And no, it was one of those, I got it, I got it, I got it, I didn't get it plays. So Randolph gets a very cheap single. Buzz Artlett, he is 0 for 2. And this is smoke the right center. Bernanski looking up, it is gone. Now that's the home run that we are familiar with when it leaves the park. Artlett touches them all. That is number one. For him this season, and the Castaways have blown the game open a little bit with the score three to nothing. Nobody out for the, the Castaways as Joy steps up, who is one for two. Tovar should get to that, and he does. One out. Travis Jackson two for two, and he hits this one to right. Bernanski had the dig, made the play. Two outs in the, the Castaways six inning. Posada is 0 for 2. And that's a base hit left center. Tovar scooped that up. And now it's Scourin who is up 0 for 2. Base hit the center. Cott not having a good inning for the Twins. I might go one more batter with him. I do not use the bullpen warm-up rules. I assume that when they when a reliever enters the game that they are properly warmed up. Ellsbury, one for two. Hit well to left, but Cordova is going to come in, make the play. But damage was done in the Castaways' sixth inning. They put three on the board. Five hits, no errors. After five and a half, it's the Castaways three and the Twins nothing. Rousseau's is up, and I think we're going to go with a pinch hitter after his at bat. And that was right to the third base for Joyce, who made the put out. One out. And yes, indeed, I'm going to put in somebody who could hit lefties because we need that right about now. We're going to go with Kirby Puckett. 
Kirby Puckett on the air. He's getting a day off today, but he will see some action. 279, two homers and six RBIs. Up the middle, doesn't drop for Ellsbury. He makes the play. Fine play in center field. Line drive that looked like it was going to drop in front of him, but it did not. Two outs in the Twins' sixth inning. They trail 3 nothing. And we go back around to the top of the order and Chuck Knobloch, who is 0 for 2. Joyce, who has made a lot of assists today, or so this announcer believes, throws the scouring and it's a quiet inning for the Twins. So now the Twins will need a new pitcher. And let me see who I could bring in. It's lefty, righty, righty, but you got the pitcher up who's the lefty. I'm going to go with Crane, Jesse Crane. He comes into the game at three and a third innings pitched, 8 10 on the ERA, and a 1 0 record. His ERA has been pretty good. I mean, not his ERA, but his opposing batting average has been pretty good this early part of the season. Waddy Clark, the pitcher, will hit 0 for 2. Knobloch with a super play throws to Herbeck and gets the out. One out in the Castaways' seven. They put three on the board last inning. They lead 3 nothing. Tip O'Neill, two for three. Started things with the inside the park home run in the sixth, but he takes a called strike three. Crane, by the way, let me bring up the lineup tab, can go 20 pitches. So we'll have to put in another reliever here very soon. Randolph is one for three. Side retired, stretch time. Big Polly coming to you this fine day. Target Field in Minneapolis. It is the Twins, the hometowners, trailing 3 0. Looking for a little spark as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Tovar, 0 for 2. Scourin, unassisted to the bag. That seems to have been happening a lot in this game. There is one out. Herbeck 0 for 2. Oh, a line drive right to Willie Randolph for the second out. Herbeck had uh, aspirations of being a professional wrestler when his uh, play was over with, and he got into it with a brave uh, a little wrestling match on the first base bag in the second game of the 91 series. I forget who the brave was. I think it might have been Ron Gant. Well, anyway, Cordova is 0 for 2. And that's going to be a grounder to Jackson. He throws over to Scour and gets the out. We have played seven innings. It is 3-0 castaways. Big Polly back with you for the 8th and ninth inning. Major League castaways leading 3 to nothing. They came into the game. Let me see here. 14 and 7. So they're going to be eight games over 500 if this hold this score holds. Crane, being told by our pitching coach, is okay. And usually when somebody is okay, <coughs> it's not a good sign. So let's see who we could use. It's righty, a switch lefty righty. 
So I'm looking for a good all-around pitcher. We'll bring in, let's see here, Aguilera, Rick Aguilera, the former Met, who plays for the Twins in this sim. Only a third in an innings pitched, uh, zeros across the board. He is a six in right field. Ella, will you stop biting me? Artlet is one for three. I know why she's biting me. She wants to play with me. Strike three call. Artlet hit the home run in the sixth inning that really uh, put a dent in the scoreboard. So that's Aguilera's first K, one out. Bill Joyce is one for three. Right back to Aguilera, he throws the first to Herbeck and gets the second out. Travis Jackson, 247, two for three today. Hit to Tovar. That, that ball had a lot of hang time, but Tovar makes a great play. So the side is retired after seven and a half. It's three nothing. Bottom of the eighth for the Twins. Here's Batty, 0 for 2. And Scourin over to Clark covering first base for the first out. Brunanski is 0 for 2. Base hit to left. And now the Twins fans getting a little excited. Gaetti, one for two today. Slow grounder, Joyce only has one play and it can't get Gaetti. So runners at first and second with one out in the eight. So it's time to go to the bench. I'm going to look for a good OPS guy here. And the best I am seeing is Harmon Killebrew. Big Harmon stepping to the plate. 0 for 3 on the season. But one swing of the bat, you got a tie game, my friends. Clark ball deals. Four. Ball Take 4. Out. So Killebrew is aboard. Aguilera, the pitcher's spot now up. So we're going to bring in Rod Carew, the Hall of Famer from Panama. He's 0 for 5 this season. I'm sure he would like to change that. The pitch. Grounder. It's going to be a 4-6-3 double play, but that will score. It doesn't score anybody because there was one out before those outs were recorded. So I thought we had no outs, so the double play would have scored the run. Not to be. 3 nothing. We go to the ninth. So, let's put in a shortstop, and we will have, we got Smalley, who's a six, and Guzman, who's a six. We'll put Smalley in. And we will put him in Killebrew's spot. The new pitcher... Let's see here. It's switch righty lefty. So I'm going to look for a. We're going to go with Latroy Hawkins. Hawkins, this HTVL season 1.1, has a 0 ERA, 2.2 innings pitched, only surrendered one hit, and has one strikeout. And opponents have only been hitting 100 off of them. Posada is one for three. Knobloch with a nice play, darted to his right, threw to Herbeck, got the out. Scourin is one for three. Strike three. Strike three called, and Latroy picks up first K of the game, two on the season. Back to Jacoby Ellsbury, who is one for three. Grounder to Gaetti, and he finds Herbeck. 5-3 on that ground out. 
Last chance to dance for the Twins. They trail 3-0. Knobloch is 0 for 3. Clark looking to pitch a complete game shutout. That's a slow grounder to Jackson. He throws to Scour and one out. Tovar 0 for 3. Looking for somebody who can hit a lefty here. Joe Maurer is going to enter the game. Maurer has not had an official at bat this season. But he hits right. He's 338. That smoked the left field, but O'Neill was going to make it. Didn't have enough oomph behind that one. Two outs. So the last chance for the Twins is Kent Herbeck. Might be another time to bring in a pinch hitter. We'll bring in Justin Morneau. Why not? He could play first base so he could stay in the game if the Twins should get three. He is 397 on the year, four for nine. He, he's the second leading hitter in the HGBL at this moment. Clark will deal to Morneau. Ball four. He gets the board. Cordova hitting 204. Does better against lefties, so we'll keep him in. And that's going to be a base hit. You got the tying run at the plate. Earl Batty is 0 for 3. question is, do we keep him in the game? And I think the answer to that is no. So again, we'll look for a good hitter here, good OPS guy. We're going to bring in Tony Oliva. 292 on the year, three homers and seven ribbies. That's the fun of this HGBL league is you could, you could go to the Go to the pinch hitters, you could bring in relievers, the better part of forever. So Clark, still looking for that complete game. He's at 108 pitches. Can still get it. Oliva, that's a grounder right back to Clark, and Waddy Clark has pitched a complete game shutout. Minnesota threatened in the ninth. Did not score, but they take the 3-0 win, and they will go to 15-7 and on the year. Minnesota falls to 12 and 10. Game took two hours and 33 minutes. Three runs, 10 hits, no errors for the castaways. 0 0 4. I'm sorry, 0 4 0 for Minnesota. Tip O'Neill, 2 for 4 and a homer. Clark got the complete game shutout. He's 3 and 2, and Clark will take the loss. He is 1 for 4. Your MVP of the game was, of course, Waddy Clark. So I hope you enjoyed our weekly look at the HTBL. And we will be back next Saturday with another game. Another game of the week for you. This has been Big Polly wishing you all well. Godspeed. God bless. We'll do it all again soon. And bye-bye for now, everybody.